All right. Time for a Zack game. I will be playing against the Diana here, which should be a perfectly good matchup for me because the only thing I'm really afraid of, I guess, on Zack is getting invaded like in the first clear. After that, I'm not that worried and Diana is not a champion that really does that, so I don't have to worry about that. Also, don't have to take a potion because, yeah, your clear is fine. I'm not going to get invaded. I would take a potion if I was playing against like Jaco or something, you know, something that would invade you. Uh, so that's something to think about. For the rest, it's not really, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, ELO of this game, we are talking roughly Platinum 3, Platinum 4. MMR, so you guys are aware. And um, oh. for Jack's clear, it's pretty simple, really. I, uh, you All you really do is just press W, pick up your blob when your W's on cooldown. It's quite literally that. It's a very good leash. What we like to see. Don't have to smite anything here. If the leash is not this good, uh, definitely smite it. Something to do. Because you don't want to waste too much time on that initial camp. So if the leash is like not great and it's like above 600, then just use smite there yeah, but in this case i don't have to i can just uh smite this and be fine all right we're just gonna look for the full clear here obviously zach skills really well with levels because the range the range of his e goes up with levels so you basically just want to uh get the level four ideally before ganking due to that reason go good also, another thing, uh, about 70% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Uh, I'm very close to 50k subscribers, so I mean, if you like my content, watch it more regularly. Consider subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. If not, I mean, that's fine as well, of course. Let's see here. Clean that up. I'm just going to do Grom first, I think. Also a little safer because the Akshan is rotating out of mid. He could go for me here as well. Oh, yep. There is no way. I'm just going to let this thing reset if I can. Pick that up. I have passive, so if she hard dives me, it's fine. There's no way this should work. They, they literally should both be dead for this. This is a bunch of sins. Yeah. That's just... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, team. I appreciate you. It's just a thing when you're playing Zack. Like, I'm not gonna flash because I'm not worried about dying. As long as I don't die in a horrible spot, there's nothing they can do. That was a very unexpected invade, though, from a Diana against me. That, that, that's a risky one. I, the only reason I realized he was doing it as well is because of the Akshan. If he didn't rotate right away, I guess Diana could have gotten a good jump on me. But it's also... Like, I was trying to get a good setup for the next rotation with it, but also the uh, romp allows me to walk all the way up here uh, to then kind of deal with that a bit better, because Akshan walked very early, and it pretty much telegraphed the entire play. I mean, I would have been absolutely doomed if my team didn't help me whatsoever. That would have been really annoying, but in this situation, we are looking pretty good. I'm going to go top lane right away. Plan spawns at about 5.30ish. I say ish because it's not an exact timer. I don't know if I can catch this. I have, oh, we flashed it. That's completely fine. That's Timo flash down. I'll take it. Very interesting. I'm just going to go for the recall here. We have our CDR boots. Uh, so that's I'm happy with those. I like to rush CDR boots on Zack because Zack's main limiting factor is, of course, cooldowns. He doesn't have... Like, the, the supplies he uses for his abilities is just HP. Uh, so cooldowns are the main limiting factor, and the lower I can get those, the better. And then CDR boots are obviously great for general map mobility as well. So that'll be uh, a combo for both. Like, it ups your clear speed, it ups your map mobility, which ups your clear speed. So it's the best thing to get first. Yo, that body block is insane. What the heck? I have an entire jungle rotation to do. D Zix might die here. Uh, I, if I do this camp... Are you serious? Akshan did my camp. I'm pretty sure it was Akshan who did it. Interesting. I'm not going to do... going to go for Dragon. If they get it, they get it. I don't really care. 
The, the priority there on bot lane is too big to, for me not to. You know what I mean? I can look for the mid gank after this camp here. Because I get extra range on E with this level up. Which is going to make the gank easier. I don't know. He flashed. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. A blitz flash coming in. I don't know what to say. I should do this, honestly. I don't know if I push it fast enough, but I think I will. If I can get this into the turret, because otherwise this is not going to go into the turret, and now it will. So this is this is better uh, for my zigs. Uh, the, the blitz rotation was something I wasn't going to expect. I thought like zigs could stall enough time to the point where I can do my camp. I was a bit slower than I was hoping for, because I wanted to do raptors instead, which got taken by Akshan, I believe. I don't think Diana took them. I think Akshan took them from me. Uh, with the way he walked out direction so that kind of sucks but An enemy has been slain. go e make sure to hit him hit the minion that's still alive and then we can catch him here perfect very good very very good oh can i get that maybe oh ah that's unfortunate I don't I don't like this this is scary no uh, without Ziggs or Yasuo here this is very scary I mean it could work because I think Diana is topside but like in these situations I I don't like AD carries like this honestly because what they what did this guy basically just decided to do is uh, like flip the dragon um, for like one bolt wave for like half a bolt wave you know it wasn't even a complete bolt wave it was just half a bolt wave and he decided to flip dragon forward instead of just helping which i'm not a fan of if it was a colossal bolt wave obviously that's different but yeah i don't like people who just uh go for the wave like that when it's like half a wave instead of just going for an objective this is way too greedy like, considering the fact that we used all our cooldowns earlier and stuff, like, this is not something we can go for, and my team wants to go for it. So, a fight's what they want to greed for? That's interesting. Like, the, the, the thing you see here is, like, a, a fight that's not very good is the thing they want to greed for, instead of the dragon that's just a very good objective, and that's something they want to ignore. <laughs> that's just something else, man. Holy moly. Alright. Fair enough. I mean, all good. I have another clear here, so I can just keep going for a while. I could look for the mid gank here uh, with the blobs I can pick up right now. I can basically regenerate my entire HP bar for the most part. What the? What? What is that? Okay, well, interesting. I I mean, as long as Zix plays safe, Blitz was there. I hopefully he doesn't walk up. Please be careful. Oh, Zix, come on, man. There is not a chance in hell you walked into that one. Okay. I don't know if I, I, I don't know why I ulted for that. I thought he was gonna flash. I actually genuinely just thought he was gonna flash. Ah, I didn't get the dragger. Ah, damn. I was hoping. I was praying on that one. Okay, the team was probably dead. That's a flash. That's a slow. Red buff applied. No, oh, dude, walk for it. Where are you going? Ah, but I was tanking turret for you, my guy. That's whatever, man. I don't know why the Malphite just ditched like that. That doesn't make any sense. I guess I'm dead. I don't I'm not gonna have teleport in time. I don't understand why he left. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Literally just dive with us. What's the problem? I don't get it. But what are you gonna do on bot lane that you have to desperately recall for? Like, so confused. <laughs> I don't... I mean, sure, whatever, but, like, 
I, I mean, I guess I shouldn't have dove after a mall fight left, especially considering the auction could go up there, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. He could have just walked through turret, because I was tanking turret aggro, and I could just, like, stand there in the corner, and he could just walk up and, like, get one E on Diana, and, she gets, and he gets the kill. Uh, so I'm just completely confused, honestly. If I can go mid. I want kind of like to get this uh, kill. Okay, that's not good. Okay, well... Can we kill this? Can we kill somebody, please? Thank you. That's at least one kill. Make sure to flash with that one. Perfect. What I do there is I queue the minion first, so I, I don't have to worry about uh, hitting him with it, and then I just flash auto attack him. Because that way I can then just kill him with it. I'm going to help him hit the turret here to get it lower faster. So he can use his W to kill this pretty much from the good range. About half this plate is when he can W it. And that should be a turret kill, which we can just share right now for a bunch of gold. And that would be quite nice for me as well. I mean, we're overall looking very, very good here, I would say. Uh, the mini auction's kind of fed, but that's okay. get this clear done i'll get my demonic also before you're gonna type it yes i realize demonic is nerfed for clearing camps but it's still very good on zach first item for fights because i mean you get ap from it right which is great for your abilities which is going to help you clear your camps because zach w does quite a bit of camp damage uh, it still does some camp damage so it's still quite nice it's not as good as it used to be but it is definitely still the best item to get first on zach in my opinion so, yeah. I'm gonna clear these two camps and I'm just gonna recall. There is a chance they already get Dragon here, but if they... Oh, actually, I guess Diana's dead, so maybe not. I was about to say, if they do, it's fine, really. Let's get this, and then we can build towards the Even's route. Just eight. I'll buy, I'll buy one Control Ward here, just in case it's like a Dragon or something. And sit on it for a while let's see if i can go bot lane i am one camp away from level nine which is going to increase my e range to the maximum one so that would be quite good let's mid i'm gonna do this camp here real quick use that mid lane i'm gonna rotate mid lane straight after this camp because this should hit me my level up which is worth it there is the level up i have to hurry this up a little bit this should be a free gank for me though Got him with the hoop. I mean, if she walks that way, she should die. She's dead to my demonic, right? Yeah, I was about to say. How do I miss those? I'm so stupid, man. Okay, thank you. The fact that I missed that one is just kind of cringe, but... In that situation, it's just easy cleanup, right? I just make sure to hit the Diana with that Q, max range it, and then I can uh, go from there, hit the Rift Herald with it, try to hit the Teemo with the other bounce, but the Demonic was going to kill the Diana, so that's really good for me. Slightly lucky, I would say, but definitely the E range increase there helped me quite a bit. Uh, for me, jumping ahead of Diana like that, and if she walks back, the likelihood of her dying is pretty high, so I wasn't that worried about her, like, escaping afterwards. The Dragon, let's see if the blue is here, potentially, which it is. That's good. He does have Malphite ult, but okay. Are you serious? Okay, well, I guess he's dead anyway. Doesn't really do anything. Easy kill. Very good. Malphite with a good clear of vision there, so we knew we can make we know we can make that play easily. Let's see if I can go for Teemo here, perhaps. That would be kind of good. Nah, not really gonna happen. It's fine. be able to take her camps like right when you kill the enemy jungler and like at this stage of the game you just want to take their camps as much as you can the more camps you can take slash deny the better it's going to be i know her entire top side's up basically so i can just take all of it 
mean, I guess I could have gone for the bolt lane play, perhaps, but... There's nothing Timo can do against me here, it's fine. I take everything here. Like, my own camps are not a priority for me anymore. All of Diana camps are, are, uh, Diana's camps are my priority right now. Every camp from her is worth, like, more because it denies her at the same time. Oh, he is just dead. Uh, the, the Yorick minions are gonna take priority aggro, so I could just jump in here and we can clean this up with Zix real quick. I'm not gonna jump for this wave because the blitz hook will kill me. Might be a greedy recall place, but oh, yep, there it is. That's the auction. All right, fine. I'll be more respectful. We'll just jump out. How about here, recalling should be fine. Okay, and now we can recall. We have our entire jungle clear up that we can look for. I uh, get my even strout here as well. Actually, if I have the money for this, I'll buy this right here, which would not leave me enough for the even shroud. But that's fine, I'll just build that component. Let's go clear some camps again. In this situation, game specifically, I'd rather have the Magi so I can start stacking that up a bit. I have a very substantial lead over here, I would say. Definitely not too bad. I mean, the enemy team is not that far behind. Of course, they have lost a lot of their turrets, which is definitely not good for them. But like in kills and stuff, they're not that that bad off, you know? It's like kind of okay. Yeah, they will get that Rift Herald without me, I think, anyway. Should I keep my clear going here real quick? I don't know why there's a control ward here, but okay. Keep using my E for mobility here. Yeah, so she'd come out of base to get that one. I'm using my time here, like the passive time on the map right now, to get my camps down. To get these things cleared real quick. Because there is not too much active time on the map here. My team is like kind of dying, kind of recalling at the moment. Like they're all not playing too forward. So basically the moment they're going to play forward is the moment I'm going to be done with my, with my clear here. I mean, you're kind of died, but that's kind of whatever, I guess. But yeah, you can see them now go back onto the map a bit more. I mean, I guess six is a little too far forward. But you see the bot lane like showing up on the map and stuff like that. So at this moment in time, I'm done with my clear and I'm back on the map when they are like walking forward again here. Can I get my ult off? Thank you. Why did you just... Well, my Zix is kind of suicided for no reason, but okay. Uh, sure, let's see Diana's camps again, as much as, as, as I can. That's annoying. I don't really do anything, I'm just gonna have to wait for my E cooldown. There it is. Kill. Ooh, that's probably a dead Yasuo, I would imagine. I'm using my Sweeping Trinket here to let him get us place to recall. This way he will know he will know what's up. Can I reach that? Damn. I was hoping to be able to, oh I was hoping to be able to reach that ward there so I can knock him towards me. That could have been very nice. Okay, yep. Yeah, no, this is a little this is getting a little dicey. I'm leaving. Uh, without like uh, my Malphite and my Yon uh, my Yasuo, sorry, both recalled. So there is no reason for me to go for that. Here, I'm obviously going to go for the dragon on spawn. We see the Yorick go for a lot of pressure on top, but we just want to make sure that we get the dragon here. Because we need to keep these up to clear on this one. Who gets the turret? It's not too bad. But he is kind of dying a lot now. That was not particularly a good play, but if he's going to go for the play there, then I'm definitely just going to make sure I use that time to get the dragon. Because for him, the problem is he built a Ravenous, right? Like, if he wasn't going to build Ravenous and he built, like, something else instead... It dying like that is not that bad. Like, it's actually decent. But because he built Ravenous, every death he's going to lose those stacks, which is going to make it worse for him. You know what I mean? So that basically creates a problem for him, like, in the long run. That he's not really going to get his stacks up, and that's just, yeah, a little bit of an issue, I suppose. 
I mean, I knew Vigar was going to walk this way. I still have passive, so he can never kill me in this one. It's, he's just kind of dead. I don't want to lose my passive if I can avoid it. I'll just flash for it then. I guess I'll get the wave. Use my E for mobility again. Try to do that as consistently as you can as well. And I save you a bunch of map tempo. Wave cleared. Good. I'm going to go recall now, obviously, because I have 3,000 gold. You can look for like a Baron and stuff afterwards. My team really just kind of started running it a little bit, and I'm just trying to uh, hold them together, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I They have a lot of magic damage, so I'm going to go Spirit Visage here. I could go Sunfire. Like, I'm probably still going to go Sunfire last item. I mean, maybe not. I can go Thorn Mill, actually, uh, which, which would be fine. I jump about there. Hit him, hit the wolf. So I knock him back towards me, and Yasuo gets the ult. Perfect. I'm gonna clear this one real quick and then we'll go up to the Baron. Can I make that? I cannot. Okay. I was wondering. It's okay. Diana's dead here, so there's nothing to worry about. Uh, ideally, I don't tank Baron here and like someone else does, like the mall fight, because I do more Baron damage. Because whoever tanks Baron does 50% less damage to Baron. We could engage. Very solid. Okay, my, my Malfot's taking the recall, so I'll take this time to get the recall in as well. Get the Spirit Visage. And then I will buy myself a nice bit of wolf armor, I suppose. Like, if, if you're gonna recall, try to recall with your teammates together for the most part at this stage in the game. Like, if you see, like, the Yasuo press recall, then just recall with him. Malfot did it here. I figured I might as well press recall there. My teammates might be able to just end here, but... For me, a spirit visage, like an item upgrade spirit visage, is absolutely colossal, so I'm gonna just recall for that if you know what I mean. Okay, let's get that. Le hit level 15. We're gonna just push in Bolt Wave here. I mean, I maybe could have ended the game, to be fair. Ooh, gets shit on. That's what I thought. You're dead now. Goodbye. That was just in the nick of time. Not bad. 12, 1, and 5, 25 Magi stacks. We are chilling. We maybe could have ended there yet, to be fair. Like, I, if I look at it, I probably could have just ended the game, but I figured it's okay. I, like, what I thought was going to happen was they just, like, five men defend, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I mean, I guess it's not double turrets anymore. Mm, I suppose we could have ended a little earlier. Ooh, Diana mid. I mean, I don't really have to chase that. I'd rather just go for this. Get the Vigar. Oh, nope. He walked in the other direction. Fair enough. Don't get blitz hooked. I missed? Okay. I still have my passive, so I'm not worried. Make sure to pick up as many blobs here as possible. Uh, okay, my team is just kind of like... I don't know what they're doing. I mean, it doesn't matter. I think they end here anyway, so it's fine. But I just finish off the corn mill here as an item. It's okay. Minions should have it. If they don't, that would be unfortunate. It actually looks like they don't. Wow. Good aggro kiting there from Timo. I don't know. Okay, I mean, if the enemy wants to stick around for this, then sure, be my guest. Um, at this stage, I mean, I'm dealing with some CC. It's not that bad. I don't know. I could switch out my boots here to Mercs. I think that would be worth it. I'll do that. I don't have enough for the Thorn Mill, but I could just do the Mercs and I'll buy the Elixir of Iron here as well. Huh. I actually thought if I create sp like if I create space for my team here and they just hit Nexus, we win. But I don't know. I'm gonna just gonna get Soul. I think Soul into end makes sense here. I mean, I guess they could maybe run it down mid lane, but the more consistent way here is instead of just running it straight into the enemy team, is just get the Dragon Soul so the enemy team can't come make a comeback if we make another like death. 
You know, I realized the Nexus is not that not that healthy and stuff, but you know. If we just get the soul here real quick, clean it up cleanly, and then end from there, that's better. What the Yorick is saying is like fine and all, and I would have potentially gone for the end if the Yorick didn't just run it straight down mid lane once again and actually waited for the teammates. But he ran it straight down mid lane again, and he, he basically just wanted to die before anything else. And because he took the fight without any one of us being close enough, it's just simply not worth it. Like, all I just do there at that point is do soul instead of running, like, after him. And then he dies right away because I never would have made it to him regardless. And then it's just a problem, right? I mean, I guess you... I, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. I am one camp away from hitting level 16, so I'm going to quickly yoink this here. And then we're going to end the game. I mean, the, the ult upgrade is the only reason I'm doing this. And now I'm just going to walk at them. It should be fine. Yeah, the York's getting way too, uh, way, way, way too greedy with these plays from him right now. I'm kind of hoping Malphite would go for that one. That should be a good enough engage, I think. Go on this guy. That's good enough. This should work. Get those two together. Finish this off. Just go for the fight win real quick, you know. Ah, there it is. Yeah. I would figured someone was going to be able to end if I just focus on the fight, keep him busy. That's pretty good. Still, good amount of damage from the Monarch here, as you can see. Definitely not too bad. Whereas the Even Stroud Dell, the Soul is 1500 damage as well. Not bad at all. Uh, I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing... 21.6k damage, which is the most on my team's end. Definitely not bad. Whew. I mean, this is kind of what Diana did to herself with that early invade. Like, I mentioned before that invade that Diana is not a champion that invades because she just isn't. Like, she has the full clear. She lost herself so much tempo trying to invade me and failed that she just got put behind to the degree where it was nearly impossible for her to come back from that uh, because I actually had pretty good tempo still throughout. So she was going to be in trouble, right? Uh, it just ended up really badly for her. And our team comp, like, I mean, we don't have an AD carry or something, but Zach with, or Zach Malphite, together with a Yasuo, allows for very easy teamfight engages as well. So, you know, crew damage at 1700 here. Damage to objectives at 38.4, making sure to get that. I mean, a lot of that Zix damage is turret damage, yeah, as you can see. 26k turret damage. So basically the... Uh, this is turret damage and these others are, are like helping me with drag and then helping with like baron and stuff so that's good and not too bad what is it yeah okay healing done at 54.4k very spicy of course zach is a very heavy healing champion uh, so this is really really good we have damage taken at 37.5 so just damage take like flat damage taken not even self mitigated just 37.5 at by far the highest here in the entire game alongside with of course still doing the most damage obviously this is not that far out but yeah still the most damage in general and then we have the self-mitigated damage on top of the damage taken for another 40k so we have like uh, what is that like little like 77k damage taken something like that definitely not bad at all we have gold earned at 14k i mean i just kept it consistent farming whenever i could uh, I may have played it a little passive. Uh, we probably could have ended maybe a couple minutes earlier in situations. But my team was playing overly aggressive to the point where like securing soul was going to be worth a little bit more. Because um, they were just kind of running it down at some point. Getting too desperate to end. Like I was making sure near the end of that game that I uh, played it in such a way that the enemy has no way of coming back even if my team makes mistakes and ints. Because that Yorick example on the on the end there, when he was walking up strictly by himself, and when we were like in base, not even close, and he just suicided. Like those are plays you have to realize instead of just running at that guy, just make sure to like get the soul. So if they do happen to win a fight after that, they don't get the dragon and they don't get the soul or they don't get the comeback, you know. So that's like the small things that I I stalled the game out slightly just to guarantee it. Uh, playing it a little safer but yeah for the runes here uh we have like 900 damage with aftershock 
about 750 mitigated which is pretty good bond of life for 640 uh, 674 i mean all of this like aftershock font of life this if you're going into like a heavy heavy team fight stage that's like 25 30 minutes the game is relatively even those these runes will kick in heavily and it will do a benefit you greatly the same kind of goes for even throughout like i did 1500 damage with it but if it goes like 25 30 minutes plus and the team fights are relatively even this item can easily do like 2000 damage in a single team fight 3000 damage in a single team fight it's really if you get like a jump into the enemy team and you uh, like hit like two three people this item is gonna absolutely pop off so yeah i mean you can replace it with radiant by the way if the uh, support on your team picks up even throughout because it's not very good stacking item and then we have revitalized a bunch of healing which is good conditioning for the resistances Gathering Storm for a bunch of ability power helps you scale a bit and then Transcendence for just refunding you cooldown because again, as I said earlier in this game, Zack's limiting factor is the cooldowns of his abilities. So the lower you can get those, the better it is. But yeah, that's it for Zack. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. Bye.